fine is all right, seriously. Fantastic. We need to be careful. We don't become the sweatshop of Europe, which was forecast a decade ago. Yes, I think so, although coming out of Europe was a massive, massive error of judgment. And now we're paying the price. I notice the politicians and the news outlets keeping very quiet about Brexit being responsible for the mess we're in. But people are blaming everything else, the pandemic, the price of oil and gas, the war in Ukraine, all that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, Brexit, 250 billion quid, straight down the Swanee with nothing to show for it to get a few billionaires off the hook. And we were all robbed and conned in the process. And I know you can say, oh, do you not believe in democracy? Oh, it was a democratic vote. No, it wasn't really. Two million people, I think, was the actual, I can't remember the actual exact figure for what the majority was, but two million people uh, dictating to almost 70 million that you lose your citizenship after 50 years of peace and prosperity. My goodness me, we don't want any of that, do we? Aha, thank you. Hello, Scotty. Kareem, lovely to have you with us. It makes a mockery of patriotism. It does, Aidan. And I think they had everybody waving the little union flags. Hey, we want our country back. Just a lot of rubbish. Our country hadn't been anywhere. So there we are. Dinky do. Now then, thank you very much. Hello, Donald. Welcome. Good morning from Belfast, Scotty. Yes, Brexit, the greatest scam in history. So there we are. We've lost out 50 years. We begged and begged on bended knee from virtually the end of the Second World War to be part of the single market. And we were told no by General Shel de Gaulle. And I don't know why he did that, because we're very good to France during the Second World War. 